Welcome back. Their newest barn is the size of six football oh fields, and their cows get milked on a carousel. And you can see it all at Breakfast on the Farm in Kewanee County this year, and Chad is there live in Casco. Hey, good morning, guys. Outside on a very uh, windy Thursday here, we're joined by Amanda here and a little guy. We have some runners with us, uh, but Amanda, uh, here we are with a very young calf. Let's talk about just the size of this farm, nearly 8,300 cows on this farm. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. We milk 7,200 cows and we have 8,300 total on site, counting our pre-fresh heifers as well as our dry cows. Okay, let's talk about um, some of these guys here specifically. How young are they and just how big are they when they're actually born? About this size, correct? Yeah, this calf here named Ophelia is four days old. Um, they're usually roughly between 80 and 100 pounds when they're born. Um, and she'll be seven days for breakfast, so she'll be ready for the photo shoot area and be fed for breakfast for the calves as well um, during the breakfast, so don't miss that. So four days old, that's it. And you mentioned around two years old is when they actually start getting milked. What kind of happens during that process from the age that they're at now to when they're ready to come back here to the farm? So yeah, so we keep our calves on site. They're born here um, in our maternity area. And then we send them to our calf raiser, um, who's also here in Kiwani County. Um, they'll stay there till they're about four months of age. And then we actually send them out to Colorado as far as like the heifer raising goes, due to the conditions being much drier and the air quality being much better for the calves. They're a lot less um, sickness when they are um, raised out there in Colorado. So then they'll come back here when they're about two months before they're gonna calve or have their babies and then the when they will calve here just like they were born here in full circle and they will start on the carousel and make their way into um, being an actual dairy cow here at Canards. Sure. So show the process of how uh, somebody needs to uh, be ready to uh, milk that cow as well later on this weekend. Yeah, so these babies are going to be in the photo booth, um, which will be out in the educational tent, and they will be ready to have their picture taken, as well as, like I said before, breakfast for the calves. They'll be being fed during the breakfast as well, so there will be announcements for that. So, yeah, you can see the milking on the carousel as well. How where... about some of the other events? We have a big tractor uh, going around here that people can take some tours around the farm as well. Yeah, there will be tours all during the breakfast, so make sure you jump on, and they will be educational so you can learn about our farm and what we do here. Um, with listening headsets um, as you take the tour. There's again a lot of kids events as well as um, the ice cream station which is my personal favorite so come and join us and have a good time on breakfast on the farm on Sunday. And we're hoping for some nice weather as well guys so many cool things to check out at this huge farm and how can you not want to pet and feed one of these little guys as well you'll have that opportunity coming up starting Sunday morning some great food as well so make sure to come out to Kennard Farms uh, on Sunday and really see some fantastic technology and all these really cute animals as well. All right, Chad's going to go feed them. Thanks, Chad. <laughs> we'll be right back.